This question is asking design a 4 bit ALU component operation is equal to 0, 4 and 1 for OR, 2 for XOR, 3 for ADD, 4 for SUP, 5 for BORROW, 6 for SHIFT LEFT 1, 7 for SHIFT RIGHT 1. Ignore, ignore the query, please only use 4 bit components where applicable. Registers, gates, arithmetic, etc. Okay, so here we gonna design this and then uh, if you look at this we have eight inputs because if it's starting from zero and goes up to seven so it means eight inputs so we have to set a max that has three select bits because two power three it will give eight inputs <clears throat> so we are gonna have a multiplexer like this and this one we design it to be 8 by 1, 8 input, 1 output. Eight by one marks and the select bit to achieve eight we have to put a select bit with three bits. Okay. Three this is ALU op and um, here zero for and so this is three select bits so this is how it's going to be uh, if you have zero that is in three bits that is zero 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 and that's for the and operation okay and then zero zero one for or operation and then zero zero one zero i mean zero one zero that is for x or operation and then 0 1 1 that is for at operation and then 1 0 0 that is for sub operation and 1 0 1 that is for borrow operation and then um, 1 1 0 that is for shift left one and then one 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 that is for shift right one okay so these are the things we need to know and uh, this order has to be respectively when we because the first input of this one represents a 0 0 0 second input represents a 0 0 1 it goes uh, in this order from top to bottom so you have to connect these things respectively in order to achieve the input results okay and for the marks output is always one so this is going to be just the output and then um, first we are connecting the AND gate and then we are going to connect OR gate secondly and um, then we are going to connect the XOR gate And then we are going to connect the add. For this one, CN and a plus. And then for the next one, we have subtraction. That is, here we will have minus and then CN. And then uh, we are going to need a borrow. Borrow is basically, it's like a carry flag from the subtract so we don't need an extra thing for it it comes from the subtract and then uh, shift left one we can connect it here input shift and left shift okay and then right shift 
also we need it that is the last one input right shift okay so all of them has to be just set for bits and then um, we just need two inputs for each of them so I connect uh, A and a B so I connect the A for the first inputs like this And then the second input that is B that will be connected like uh, just putting this to make sure you know make sure maybe I put a different color for this okay but if you are just doing in the same color you know it's better to represent like let's say if I'm doing in the white color then it's better to put it like this to show that these two eyes are not connected okay but I'm gonna do use a different color and this one connected this one connected this one connected and this left shift and right shift will be connected with a constant just one okay so this is what it has to be now we can connect them in the order okay first one connect directly to it second one connect we can connect like this and the third one connected like this and the fourth one also connected like this and the fifth one connected like this and when we are using an adder and a subtractor uh, we had to, we are gonna have to deal with the carry that is on the top of this let's use a different color for it Yeah, this is carry in and uh, from the subtraction we will have a borrow And that one will be connected after the sub okay and then left shift and the right shift is after that okay and this is it and here we can also mention borrow is like a carry flag of subtract subtract okay and that's it for this video i hope you guys found this video helpful thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel see you guys on my next video